Hello. Hello. Hi, Anne. Uh, How are you? Uh, oh. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, that was supposed to be on Sunday. Did you forgot our makeup class on Sunday? Oh, and I'm in Zoom this morning. Oh, no, on Sunday. On Sunday? On Sunday, oh. can you remember? No, so I forgot. Uh, oh, I think it's on this evening and this morning. <laughs> no, uh, I sent you a message, right? That on and our class i also reminded you that we are going to have a makeup class on sunday so uh, oh it's okay i understand all right so so i see you uh you already at home yeah and how was your trip to your to your hometown uh, I'm, oh, I go to my regular hometown for um, All right, so let's start. Mm -hmm. Let's start our class now. I told you last meeting that you should make five sentences. Oh, no, no, no. Six sentences for the word A and six sentences for the word A. And, and five sentences for the. Did you remember? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, but it's like, oh, no. I'm not sure you can do this for. Oh, and I'm not sure you can do this for. Okay. I think you did not finish yet. Again, three sentences for A. Three sentences for N and five sentences for the. Oh, I can make more. So I think you have to add more. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, no, no, no. Turn away. Okay, five sentences for the only. Okay. Three 
three sentences for A and three sentences for an. Okay, can you please read this? A ball is round. He has seen a girl, a dog like boy. This one? He gets an apple. A dog like boy. No? And he has bought an umbrella. Very good. And the last one? The cherry on the table has been bought. The children took the homework before going to school. The dogs are next. The Americans don't like to. The cat ran away. Please give me the book. Very good, Anne. You made a good sentence construction. So again, we use a or an to talk about something that the listener or the reader doesn't know about yet. Or it is to describe what something or someone is. The is used for when the listener or reader knows what the speaker or writer is talking about. Or when the speaker specifies what or who they are talking about. Or with, the, with things that are the only ones around us or that are unique. For when we refer to the world around us or things that we all know about. So always remember that. So we have another one. We use the names of a few countries like the UK, the USA, the Netherlands, the Philippines. We also use with islands groups, mountain ranges, oceans, and names of rivers. So this is a zero article is used. Can you please read this? Okay. Um, plural, plural, or uncountable nouns. When we are talking about things in general, password protects our personal information. This meals, months, days, and special times of the year. I visit my grandparents on New Year's Day. With most names of people and policies, most countries, states, and cities that are in, in London province. With geographical areas, like mountains and islands, to visit, visit Lake Victoria is in East Africa. So this is the example of zero article. All right, so it is a plural, it, with a plural or uncountable nouns, you are talking about in general. It used for meals, months, days, and special times of the year. It is most names of people and places or geographical areas. Can you give me just two examples? Okay. Um, can I try? 
Mm -hmm, yes. Uh huh. Very good. I like this. I have lunch at school. Good job. Now let's continue. Complete the text with a and the or zero article. So we have fourteen underlines here. Can you please type your answer? And after that, we are going to check and read this. Okay. Sorry, my dog. Uh, it want me to take it that I am studying. <laughs> Hello so there. Do you I... want to study with your? <laughs> oh, it want me. Uh, it want me to play with it that I can't now. Please, I'll be back. Oh. Oh. oh no. <laughs> no. 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 Your dog now is much cuter. Yeah. Oh, it's going to play, but I can't. I'm steady. No. <laughs> no, go away. Oh no, I'm not here. Just tell me when you're done. Oh, you know how to type it here? Uh, 
um, no. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was my mistake. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Is this your final answer? Uh, yeah. Let's check. Number one, A. Number two, the. Number three. Number three, it's the. Number four, yeah. it's the. Number five, the. Number six, oh. it's zero. I think your no is zero article. Is that yeah. what you mean? Uh -huh, okay. Number seven, the zero article. Number nine, it's zero article. Number ten, the number eleven, zero article. Number twelve, zero article. Number 13, the, and the last one is an. So, hold on. You've got the correct answer. Oh, for a moment. Oh, Okay, you got eight correct answers. Still a good job. Now, please read this. The Dominican Republic is a country on the island of Hispaniola in the Cap Caribbean region. It is the second largest Caribbean nation after Cuba. Cuba. With nearly 10 million people on the road of Main Lake, in the capital city, Santo Domingo. The second largest city is San Santiago. The geography of the country is varied. 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 And range from... Ranges. And range from centered plants to large valleys of tropical rainforest. The economy depends largely on early control. Okay, again, follow me. Varied. Varied. Ranges. Ranges. Agriculture. Agriculture. Again, agriculture. Agriculture. Plains. Plains. All right, if you see this word, how will you read this? Very, very, very good. And this one is? Right. Very. Very. One more time, please read these two words. Very, very. Very good. This one. Ring. Ring. Good job. This one. Plain. Mm -hmm. Plain. Very good. Now let's continue. So communication. In 2014, a total of 7,874,300 foreign tourists visited Vietnam. 
what are the reasons that make Vietnam a tourist attraction for foreigners? Here's what some foreign visitors had to say. Can you please read numbers one to four? Oh, there are so many beautiful spots. Beautiful spots. How long they eat? Very pleasant. The people are so friendly and welcoming. We are affordable here. We can have a lovely time without breaking the bank. The food is delicious and not expensive. I love the food. Mm -hmm. Now, do you agree in all of this? Are the four? Do you agree? Do you agree with this statement? Is are these foreign visitor saying the truth about Vietnam? Oh, yeah. Oh, I agree. It's quite <laughs> true. <laughs> uh huh. Do you have something yeah. to add? Mm, can you tell me more about why a lot of people or why should people try to go to Vietnam? Oh, because the price is cheap. It's cheaper than go and go to different mm. countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and especially expensive. <laughs> yes, oh, I that, know. That, yeah, and the I think they are impressed by the culture of Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Do you know the traditional dress? How that? No. Can you tell me more about it? Oh, it's, it's, um, can you type on the net? Uh huh, okay. Uh, and many food. Oh, seafood is one part and then I'm in the Oh, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, that's a word. Um, you can search on the internet. So, what? I think you know this, this note. Mm -hmm. I'll die. This and note. What? Oh, like a... I know that word. I forgot. Hot pot? Hot pot? Uh-huh. Uh, it's not like this. But no, 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 no. no. It's a type of noodle. Uh -huh. It's like ramen, Vietnam version. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramen Vietnam version. Yes, yeah, you're right. Uh, I want to try that too. And also your mooncake. I wanted to try too. Oh, mooncake. Oh, but I'm, 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 I don't like it. Oh, why well, don't like she it? She don't like it, but I don't. Because it's too sweet. Too oh. sweet. Oh, that is yeah. mm -hmm. too sweet. Is not for me, and I'm really excited to go to Vietnam because it's really, really cheap. Like I can yeah. enjoy the beautiful place with cheaper prices. Yeah. Uh, but do you know that my ticket for Vietnam was cancelled because of yeah COVID, so I can't go there for this year. That's oh, my. that's so sad. But it's okay. All right, so now let's continue. Name some famous caves in Vietnam and in the world. All right, can you tell me the famous caves in Vietnam that you know? Mm, famous cave, uh, it's a uh, Son Dong. Can you type it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Or I'm just three, three feet. Uh -huh. Have you been to these caves? Mm, I have been to Fonya and to so. Why you don't have here fauna or here fauna and Shondong? It's not here. Oh, Shondong. Oh, so it's, it's Shondong not here. Yes, only Sangsut. Oh, but 
terms of is the big is is the big. But yeah. are you? Do you want the experience going to the cave, like explore cave? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous. Yes, me too. I'm not that sporty or I'm not that active. But is it really famous still? Is it famous in Vietnam to go visit caves? Mm. Is Vietnamese people like to go mm, in the caves? Um, I think some people, but I think almost mm, foreigners you know, they like to go to this place. But then it's, mm, I think, yeah, two people. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. So now let's move to listening part skills two. So listen to the lecture and take true or false. So we have six sentences here and you have to listen to the audio twice to answer or to tell me if it's if the sentences are true or false you will hear the sentences twice and after that you have to answer this by reading the sentences and telling me if it's true or false after did you understand okay all right let's start Skills 2 Listening Activity 2 Listen to the lecture and tick true or false. Thanks to the widespread use of modern means of transport, people have more choice of holiday destination and can now visit even the remotest parts of the world. Tourism has certainly become an important factor in the development of many countries. An obvious benefit of tourism is that it plays a key role in economic growth. It contributes greatly to the income of a region or country. It also brings job opportunities to all kinds of people and therefore helps promote prosperity in diverse fields. Another positive aspect of tourism is that it helps promote international understanding and cooperation among nations. In addition, tourism can improve the standard of living of local or rural communities so young people are encouraged to stay in their hometown to build a good life rather than move to big cities. Finally, tourism brings cultural benefits as travelers learn about the history and culture of a place and spread them around the world. On the other hand, the drawbacks of tourism can't be denied. Skills 2 Listening Activity 2 Listen to the lecture and tick true or false. Thanks to the widespread use of modern means of transport, people have more choice of holiday destination and can now visit even the remotest parts of the world. Tourism has certainly become an important factor in the development of many countries. An obvious benefit of tourism is that it plays a key role in economic growth. It contributes greatly to the income of a region or country. It also brings job opportunities to all kinds of people and therefore helps promote prosperity in diverse fields. Another positive aspect of tourism is that it helps promote international understanding and cooperation among nations. In addition, Tourism can improve the standard of living of local or rural communities, so young people are encouraged to stay in their hometown to build a good life rather than move to big cities. Finally, tourism brings cultural benefits as travelers learn about the history and culture of a place and spread them around the world. On the other hand, the drawbacks of tourism can't be denied. All right, did you under, did you get all the answers? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now please read each yeah. sentence. Oh, okay. All right, can you please read all the sentences? Okay, tourism plays an important part in the development of many nations. Two, modern transport promotes tourism. 
con nói từ nãy con ngồi không có tao luôn mấy lần ok thuê vùng đi xem on the income of a country for people please just tell me what you want to do with a country true ok trade and help promote international understanding and cooperation for young people go to the city to meet foreign trade Let's see. Number one, true, two, true, three, false, four, true, five, false. Number six, false. So you've got four correct answer. Very good. All right, so here, another activity. Looking back, what would you like to do most on holiday? Choose three things and share your ideas. Why would you like to do this? So we have eight things to do here. Can you please read all of this? Go camping, watch the wildlife, visit amazing, make all computer, visit historic places, relax and lay around, make new friends, computer, or things, then pop them, pop, I think of them. Uh huh, just three of them. Them, them, pop. Uh huh, again. Go to a them, pop. Uh huh. What else? Make new friends. Make new friends. Uh huh. The last one. Meet rock called people. Mm -hmm. Wow. But why do you want to go to the theme park? Oh, because I'm. Um, what was that? I have never go there to the theme park, so I want to try this one time. Uh -huh. And when you go to the theme park, what do you usually do there? Just, just mm, like hanging around, walking yeah, around. Yeah, I go. I, I, I go with my friends. Oh, your friends. Yeah. Uh huh. And. Have you experienced like you went somewhere and you happened to to make new friends with the people there? Like for example, you also went to the theme park and you meet new friends there. Have you experienced that? Uh-huh. And are you the one who approached them first or you wait them to approach you? Oh, I wait them. <laughs> uh -huh. I often wait. But you are not afraid to make new friends with or in public area? No, I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm, that's good. Always try to make a new friends because you have to widen your circle, but also be careful with your chosen friend, chosen friends, right? Okay. All right. So here, if you t told me about the three things that you like to do, now name three things you don't like to do on holiday, and tell me why. Okay. Like for example, mm -hmm. this. Uh huh. Why don't want to do homework? Uh, because I want to play that my mother said that I have to study no. <laughs> but you have no choice. You just have to follow your parents. Uh -huh. Aside from doing homework, what else? Doing um, homework. Mm. Do the housework. Do the housework. It makes 
<laughs> what housework do you do? What housework do you do? Oh, oh housework. What do you do? What do you do? What do you And uh, I don't know what it's called. You know, the, the, I have to clean all the house, even the ceiling. Oh. Yeah. Do you do it every day? No. Mm -hmm. So when and do you do it? Once a month. <laughs> Once a month. And how many hours do you clean your house? Oh, I think I have to go all day with it. The house, the mother, and my grandma. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, if you have one day to clean the house, during that day you can't study and you can't play also? You just clean and clean the house? Yeah, clean and clean. Clean and eat lunch and clean. Uh, clean every day. <laughs> uh -huh. But now, during your summer vacation, what do you do during daytime? Oh. I eat and then I play, eat and play, and play. Play? What do you play? Oh, I watch things, uh, this story, comics. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I understand. All right, for the last things that you don't like, what is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Play sports. <laughs> yeah, it makes me hot. Um, okay. Oh, I, I, I definitely, I have a bit of a Yeah, I feel you. I don't play sports too. It makes me so lazy. I don't like it too. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. But do you know how to wash your clothes? Yeah, I know. How do you wash your clothes? Yes. Using your hands yes. or washing machine? Put in, put it in the washing machine. Mm -hmm. Put all clothes in the washing machine. <laughs> and uh, put over and let wash the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. All right. So, Anne, since it's already our time, we have to end it here and we are just going to continue tomorrow, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for tonight and see you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow okay. night, okay? <laughs> Not morning. Uh, um, oh, it's Tuesday. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, I forgot. I forgot today. What day is tomorrow? Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Bye.